Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds. Let's do another video on the high and might load colony. Just checking in. I'm surprised it's still kicking, but what we did in spring when it was about eight frames strong of bees, it was still showing just a little bit of signs of viruses, some, just a tiny bit of deformed wing, but they were growing and they survived through winter, which was amazing with the crazy high mite load that they had. Um, 94 mites in an alcohol wash. That's stupid high. Don't ever let it get that high in your bees. Obviously, we requeened it. We traded the heck out of them, all that stuff. But this spring, I decided to break it into thirds. Even though they were improving, I wanted to break up the cycle more. And also, I was using it for mating nukes. So I broke it into three parts out of those eight frames. And this is the third queen. I had one that worked out on the first trial. The queen cell I introduced, she came back. The next one did not. And then this one that's in here did. And I've let her um, run the place for quite a while. But I feel like they're looking pretty good, so we're going to check them out. And we're also going to bank these three queens right here. So I had some mating nukes um, that we pulled several queens from, and this is what I've got left over. We're going to be doing about 40 splits here in the next, oh, handful of days. It's going to be crazy. So we're trying to get some videos on that, but we're going to show you how we're going to sock these things away for a little bit. I don't like banking queens for long periods of time, but sometimes you just have to do it. This works for short periods as well. This is definitely not the longest method. We'll talk more about that when we get to it. So I'm just going to put some smoke down in there. I've got a 10 frame lid on an 8 uh, frame box, but you have a pretty good bit of bees down in there. Especially since we um, split so many bees out of them early on, so I'm going to just go ahead and shake that down out the front. Well, we've got to get us some nurse bees. I need to throw some pollen patty in here and probably throw a little bit of a sugar syrup. We're in the middle of our dearth, but it hasn't been that, as bad this year as in other years. We are seeing a little bit more pollen. It's definitely not enough. That's why we're feeding pollen patties, but it's better than nothing. Little bits of orange and yellow pollens, very tiny baskets in the early mornings, but it does add up. And I feel like with the Ultra Bee that we're feeding, it is really helping ease the, the stress on these little colonies. The big ones with the bee bread, they're fine. We go ahead and give them a little bit of Ultra Bee anyways, just to keep them going full throttle, because we need to make all these splits. All right, well, that's, that's pretty good. This is mostly full of um, sugar syrup. There might be some honey in there. I don't know. We never we pull honey from this colony, so it's probably a mixture. But a colony this size, you definitely want to see at least one frame like that. You know, this side doesn't have anything on it. All right, this is looking pretty good too. So I thought here she is. I marked her when I found her. So there's the the blue queen. You can see there's capped either syrup or honey up here. Probably mostly syrup. See some of that down in there. That's fantastic. We know where the queen's at. And that way we can move her off to the side while we get our nurse bees. We don't need a lot. But we probably need for, well, for three queens, you don't need very many. Now, over time, you'll need to add more, but I don't want to bank these queens for a really long time. Um, whenever, the longer they're banked and not laying, the, the harder it is to introduce them. The pheromone production goes down. Oh, yeah. What a big turnaround from what they looked like this time last year. Pretty good, especially for the time of the year that it is. I'm just going to check a little bit more. What I like to find is a frame of larvae. That was mostly cap stuff and um, syrup and a tiny bit of bee bread. Because those larvae have to be hand fed by the nurse bees. So we've got a little bit of larvae up in here. Got a lot of nice, nice looking larvae. I'll throw another pollen patty on this. And you know, they're not, the queens aren't laying full throttle right now. There's a nurse bee right there. That one just came out of the cell. It's still stumbling around. Probably hasn't got a stomach full of food yet. It's pretty weak. It takes a lot of energy to chew out of those cells. Yeah, lots of larvae down in here. Excellent. This colony is doing really good. I'm going to move this colony out, keep it growing. It'll be a good 10 frame colony, at least going through winter. And I'm going to move it out of here because it's 
man, it's in the way right here. We're, we're constantly trying to come in and out of the shed. And um, I tell you what, though, they, they really like it here. They don't ever get rained on. It's, it's nice and dry. All right, so what we're going to do to get these nurse bees is we're just going to take an old Jester nuke box like this right here. Most of these bees are going to go back in. And we're just going to shake them like that. I'm going to go ahead and put this frame back in its place. I'm going to scoot all this back in and just go ahead and put things where they should be. And we're going to let, see some of the bees are flying out of, over there. Those are obviously forager bees and older bees. We don't want those. They don't take care of queens very good. They don't accept queens very good. We, and they don't live as long. So we definitely don't want that. That's a whole lot of nurse bees um, for... Some people might think that's rough. It really does not hurt a bee's exoskeleton. I, I play with my kids rougher than that. And it's getting to the point where I'm the one getting beat up these days. I don't bounce like they do. They're flexible. <laughs> Eat me out of house and home. But look at those bees right there, how they're running around, they're fanning, trying to figure out what's going on. They're really confused. Those are nurse bees right there. That's exactly what we want. Now we definitely don't need that many. So this is the rough part. I'm just gonna shake them like that. This lid's in my way. There's, there's better ways to do this. I've actually got a cup for this, but I didn't get it for the video. I don't know what I was thinking. I tell you what, we're trying to keep this when we're not in the sunshine, but move over there, Laura. I'm tired of this tight space work. All right, so I got all the bees in one corner. I'll hold that lid in place, and then I'm just going to... That's too many right there. Now that would take care of the queens now. I'm going to shake about half of those out. That's good right there. So. See, we can do this without killing any bees. This is the tricky part. And without getting stung. That's also the tricky part. Now, typically I put some candy in there, some queen candy, and they'll eat that. You just got to give them a little bit of water periodically. I think I did it. Yeah. Wow. And uh, leave some queen candy in there and they'll eat that. You got to give them a, a few drops of water on top at least once a day. And they'll take that down. That way they can dissolve that uh, candy. Um, also, you can feed just a little bit of honey on top. Just don't pour too much in at a time because if the bees get all sticky and everything, it can become a problem. But those nurse bees are going to fill up their stomachs and they're going to feed those queens in those cages. You can keep queens like that. I've done it as much as two weeks. But let me tell you, there's a big difference in how a queen will introduce, even if it's the same quality of queen, after two weeks of being banked in something like this, as opposed to, okay, we're going to pull her out of the mating nuke, like if I pulled her out of this one, and then we make a split, and then we drop her in a cage the same day. That's what we like to do, at least within 48 hours. Oh, man, they, they love those queens. They smell so good. Uh, they're just strong, strong pheromones. You can see... Um, you know, these nurse bees still haven't flown off. They just don't know where to go. They're fuzzy. We're going to chuck all these bees. Ooh, I got one. Went up my pant leg. Fantastic. Apotherapy. But this colony's doing great. Again, just uh, try not to bank them too long. You don't have to have a special box like this. I like it because I can stick... This is a JZBZ system, so I can stick those JZBZ cages in there works really easy but if you have wooden queen cages or roller cages you can make a box just make sure there's ventilation you want to store this at about room temperature somewhere between 70 and 80 degrees um, try not to get it you know 80 degrees or hotter um, try not to get it much below 70 um, just kind of 
easy temperatures is better on the queens. But again, try not to bank them if you can help it. I really am not a fan of banking, but you know we end up with extras, and I'm going to be using these, but it's going to take a couple more days before I can get to these things. These nurse bees will take care of these queens. All right, this colony is looking great. This is a tip maybe that'll help you down the road, maybe this year. Thanks for watching our videos. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below.